Hi Lika Professionals, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Here at Legally Techie, we show you how to use Google Workspace for your law firm or solo practice. Today I will show you how to use the new table templates and drop down chips in Google Docs that allows you to basically create a case tracking table you can share with your paralegal to constantly have the latest status of the cases you're working on. So go ahead and create a doc, Google Doc in particular. Click on insert table and table templates. So we have four templates so far that we can use. I'm going to go ahead and just show you how each of them look like and you can decide which one works best for you. So the first one I'm going to click on is product roadmap. Again, we can always change the words to put case and so forth. So these are the four table templates that are now available within Google Docs. Everything is customizable. We can change the verbiage to put instead of project, case, reviewer, attorney, and so forth. So I'm going to just use the first one and we'll go from there. Now, as you see, it does have some verbiage showing as not started in progress and launch. We can go ahead and click on edit and add option. Instead of launch, we can put the word settled. And we can go ahead and change the template name to case status. We can add more options. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And now it's asking, do you want to apply this to all of the templates going forward or just this one? Being a law firm, of course, you want to just have it for all. And now you have your different drop down chips within your Google Doc. Again, the goal is to be able to collab with your paralegal, with those in your firm to quickly just get an overview of the status of your case. And if you need to add related files, again, we have the add chip. You can go ahead and add those files that relate to that client's case number. So thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you.